Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. Today we are going to be taste testing vegan hamburgers, which is going to be amazing because I am not vegan and I really like meat hamburgers. So let's see what they got. Another Fat Guy Cooks. Okay, so I have gone out of my way to pick up one of each of the most common that I can find vegan hamburgers in UK supermarkets. Now, I might have got this wrong. There may be more popular ones. I may have completely fucked up. But these are the five that I've seen around and these are the five that we're going to test. And if you don't like it, you can go. So what I've done is I've taken a pastry cutter and just taken a small chunk out of each one of the burgers and put it on greaseproof paper because I don't want to waste a whole burger. If they're good, then you know I can use that burger meat and we're going to do something else with it next week. This is all kind of leading up towards next week where I'm going to make a vegan something using the burger meat of the best tasting one of these vegan burgers. So kind of a two episode -y thing. This one probably won't be that long, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so we'll lead into next week and then we'll see where we go from there. We have got Vive Era Plant Burger. We'll just give you a quick rundown. Each burger is 164 calories each and mainly soy and wheat protein red onion, blah, 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 loads of chemicals, okay? Contains 17% protein. This is Meatless Farm. 230 calories per burger. Ugh, that's fucking disgusting. Cross-contamination, slightly, but you know, we'll survive. Uh, I should just take the packet off, that'd be easier. Ingredients, pea protein, vegetable oil, thickener, but pea protein seems to be the biggest thing. So made of peas, pea burgers. Why not? So soy burger, pea burger. We have got Naked Glory, which pretty cool name actually. Um, free of meat, full of taste. One of these is 210 calories and soy and wheat protein again. So another soy burger, Naked Glory. Burning. We've got Richmond who make those cheap weird sausages that everyone buys but nobody likes. Two meat free burgers, tasty and succulent. We'll see about that, Richmond. We've got soy and wheat protein again. Looks like everyone just goes for soy and wheat protein. Apart from um, these guys, which are pea burgers. Oh yeah, calories. These are 171 calories, but they are a bit fucking thinner, as you can see. Meh. And we have Beyond Burger from Beyond Meat, which I'm doing last because I've heard a lot of good things about Beyond. So we will see. There you go. Beyond. These are 252 calories-ish each. So a bit on the chunky side calorie wise. And they are made from pea protein. Okay. Bit of rice protein, stabilizes maltodextrin, which is just like a thing to help emulsify things together. Okay, so you've been through them all. Now let's just have a first look at them all just to see kind of what they look like. I've taken close up video and photos, so I should be able to pop those up on the screen as we uh, do this. So the first one, Vivera, kind of looks a little bit like cat food, if I'm honest. Um, let's get a smell. Yeah, it just smells, I don't know, kind of, yeah, it smells a little bit of cat food too. Um, uh, very tightly packed, very sort of rigid. Um, 
but okay. Um, next one we've got Meatless Farm. Now this is a much looser, looks a lot more like meat, has the little white flecks in it, which you know they're trying to make look like fat in the burger, which I'm assuming a coconut oil or coconut something. But you know, kind of looks like meat. Oh Jesus, smells fucking terrible. It smells just chemically and fucking god awful. Ah, better taste better than that. Huh. Okay. Oh man, why am I doing this? Uh, beer. I have a beer somewhere. Ah, uh, that's better. Okay. Naked Glory. So Naked Glory one looks like pate. Um. Smells a lot like the Meatless Farm one, just smells chemically and sort of sour and a bit weird. Has the little flex in it as well. Looks kind of like meat, but like not meat in the right way. Whereas this kind of looks like ground beef. This looks like reclaimed beef sludge. Um, yeah, the next one, Richmond. Again, smells like dog food. Dog food, cat food. Awful. I mean, dog food and cat food are also awful, but at least they're, you know, a known quantity. Has the little flex in, looks like pate. Generally, you know, I don't know. Kind of looks like meat again, but just in that sloppy, gross kind of way. And beyond, thickest boy of the lot. Not by much, though. This is quite, a th they're quite thick, boys. Has the flex in it. Oh, again, just that, I think it's just that soy smell. I don't know if I just hate the smell of soy, but looks very meaty, looks very much like it's made of mince meat. Kind of feels fatty as well, kind of feels oily, like real meat, whereas all of these kind of don't. Okay, so that's what they all smell and look like. I guess we should start cooking them. So I'm using like a neutral oil, just a plain, vegetable oil so we're gonna throw that down we're gonna give them about five minutes on each side each and then I'm gonna plate them up and I'm gonna try them okay so like the hot sauces we're gonna score these out of ten and um, we'll start from your left to right I don't know whatever this one to that one and we'll do a little bit of a palate cleanse in between each okay so I'm going to be scoring them on how much they taste like meat and how good they are. Kind of like a sort of riff between the two. There's going to be a bit of mouthfeel involved in that. There's going to be a bit of like, I don't know, a bit of everything. I'm just going to use my best judgment. So, first off, Vivera. Nice and greasy. Take a bite. Texture is like a mixture of particle board I'm not sure. Definitely particle board. And yeah, like MDF. It does have kind of a meaty taste to it, but it's almost like fish. I don't know. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't really taste of much. Um, there's definitely like a vegetable-y taste to it, but the, te the texture's fucking awful. But, I mean, not it's not awful, it's just nothing like meat. But yeah, it's kind of like, um, like a fish cake, but really tightly packed. Like, imagine if you fucking put a fucking... Yeah, imagine if you put like a tin of tuna in a hydraulic press, and then the meat that came out of that. That's kind of what that tastes like. So let's start it started him off on like five out of ten, so I don't really know where this is going. But you know, I'll take another taste. Got a bit of sweetness to it. Mmm. God damn it. You take some chewing. It's rough. Um yeah, we'll start with 5 out of 10. Not awful. Mm. Okay. I just drooled on myself. Meatless Farms. Meatless Farm. This is the first P one. 
I think I got them mixed up, by the way, so I've put them in the right places now. Meatless Farm. Texture's loads better. Feels like meat. Doesn't taste like meat. I imagine this is what a beef burger would taste like if you held your nose while you ate it and had somebody just like telling you a really fucking boring story so you couldn't really enjoy it. It's like I'm aware I'm eating a beef burger but just like in the vaguest sense possible. But not bad. I mean, you know, just just nothing really. Just no no real taste, no, no pop to it. It, just, it feels, you know, the mouth feels definitely, definitely meaty. But that's where it ends. And just no flavour, really, at all. But has a nice crust on it. If you gave me this at a party in a, in a bun and I ate it, I, I wouldn't cause a problem. I, you know, I wouldn't demand to see the chef or walk out. You know, I'd just be like, oh, okay, this guy serves shitty burgers. Fair enough. And, um, yeah, so, okay, so yeah, I think, you know, better than this one. Let's give him a six. Six out of ten for Meatless Farm. Naked Glory. Definitely a more pate looking burger. That's why I knew I'd got them mixed up. Palate cleanser. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this tastes like um, potted meat. I don't know if you've had that before, but it tastes like that really, it's like almost pate, but like poor man's pate that you'd spread on your sandwiches when you were a kid if your family was poor and hated you. Ugh. Yeah, okay, so it's basically potted meat that's been left out to coagulate and then fried. So the frying helps, because frying anything fucking helps, but no, no. Naked Glory, bad burger. Doesn't feel like meat. Doesn't taste like meat. Kind of, it looks like meat. I'll give it that. But, kind of has the sort of texture internally, but. Mm. Fried potted meat. Fried coagulated potted meat that was like left to dry out on an old dirt road somewhere. That's fucking awful. Yeah, three. Solid three out of ten for Naked Glory. Yeah. I'm not having a good time. Ugh. Okay. Richmond, who make the blandest sausages in all of the land. Let's see if you can do any better with non-meat. Definitely have done the same in making them look incredibly bland. Again, looks like pate. No real crust. Let's see. Oh, tastes completely different to everything else. Actually, it has a lot of flavour, but not in a good way. Cat food. It just falls apart in your mouth and turns into fucking cat food. Ah. It. It has like a livery taste to it. And I like liver, but there's not in a good way. But it has that really deep, ah, oh, fuck. No, no, bad Richmond. Stick to shit fucking sausages. Ah, do not want, hard pass. One out of 10, go fuck yourself Richmond, sorry. I buy your sausages. I actually buy Richmond sausages because they're like, if you, if you just want to fill the sausage slot on a on an English breakfast, but don't want them to make an impact, if you just want them to just be there, then Richmond sausages are the way to go. 
but oh god damn it no pass hard pass last one beyond burger okay i'm looking forward to this one because i've heard good things but we're, go we're going to go in neutral and we'll see we'll see what happens uh, okay heavier way heavier instantly tastes the closest to a burger of any of them so far. It feels like a burger. It's like a bit more chew to it. I I would not know that that wasn't a burger if I'd had like three pints. If I if I was like half cut and you gave me that, I would just eat it and wouldn't wouldn't question it. Now I can taste that it's, you know, like you, you know when you get the last bits of something in your teeth? That is not burger that I can feel now. But it's fatty, it's got a bit of chew, it kind of feels right in the mouth. No bad flavours, it's not overly flavourful. It doesn't like taste good per se, but it doesn't taste bad at all. And yeah, I could, I could eat this on a burger. I mean, I'm guessing what they've done. It's just made it really fatty. Um, rapeseed oil, coconut, lots of salt, malted extra, and emulsifier. Yeah, be true. Well, I don't know what they've done, but they've done a good job. That is a burger. Um, tastes like a burger, feels like a burger. Not overly so, not to the point where you could be tricked. Sober, but. Of these five, if you were going to go and make something out of vegan burger, this is the one that I'll be making it out of. That's about it, really. Um, if you've got any other suggestions on like food tasting and things where I could do another sort of platter like this of some other shit, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies to vegans if I've upset you. As I said, I love you all and I think you're vital and I think we should all be vegan if we weren't as awful a human being as I am. But a lot of us are and a lot of us are never going to change. But we're trying. I'm not trying. Some people are trying. Oh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. At 700 subscribers, I'm going to do like a live stream thing where I'll do something probably similar to this but live stream it and have the chat up so I can talk to you all while I'm doing it and it will be interesting and funny for you guys and terrifying and horrible for me so 700 subscribers we're currently at about 620 fucking hit that subscribe button